I mean, everything which happened in the city, gambling, I mean, corruption, Cherkizovsky rinic, destruction of, of, of historical monuments, it's all well, done because of uh, financial and profit reasons. There was nothing else, I think. I mean, putting aside that the cultural level of these guys, when they come to Venice, they said, each time we come to Venice, <gasps> we sort of were, it's tears in our eyes, this city is really dilapidated, meaning we can do something about it. I wonder if we could send them to, to Venice and see what the Venetians would do with them <laughs> if they tried to touch any of the buildings in the city. In Venice, they probably would just uh, erase, erase the whole city and rebuild it in the same way. Yes. They are of the opinion, they have the, the talent to build the same way as it has been built in the medieval centuries, but better. They've proven it with uh, with the uh, Voyentorg and a few other buildings in the city, which is of course a disaster. I mean, even thinking you can ruin Coliseum in, in Rome and build a new one in place, it just like it makes my mind work. Like I'm talking, uh, is it insane? Or what are they talking about? No, it's just the way they've been brought up. That's the level of their education, their upbringing. I mean, if you talk to them about poetry, not only architecture, they probably know nothing about it. They know nothing about architecture. They think really architecture is like a new building put in place of the old one, which is a replica, which is a copy. And they really think it's fine. Though uh, Brodsky once said, we are what we've read. Now, these guys probably have never read anything. Uh, and this is what, we, what they are. I mean, it's, you only have to have pity to them rather than criticize them for that. It's a pity these people are running a huge city. That I, I would rather leave this discussion about values in Russia, <laughs> which comes from, from something, something inside us. That's the way we are. I mean, who's to blame for that? Stalin? Brezhnev? I mean, communists? Uh, corruption? The bad standards which are being uh, set by the ruling elite? I wouldn't even call it elite, frankly speaking. I mean, what kind of elite you are? The only reason is actually uh, to behave like a pathologically maniacal kleptocracy, pocketing billions of US dollars, you will never in your life be able to use. I think Baturin and Lushkov is a phenomena which is, has a much broader uh, widespread uh, interference with the day-to-day -day life of this country. So in a sense, my interview in profile, as somebody mentioned to me this morning, you could change, take the way Lushkov out of it and put some other name in it from might be a federal government and you can have the same effect. It's not only once the crime is committed, you follow up the criminals. You should destroy, actually, the terms and conditions. So if the Russian corrupt official in, in this city or in, in this government would know that there is no way he can pocket 50 million, 100 million, a billion US dollars outside this country. There's no way he can uh, transfer the money through banks outside, launder it, uh, and, and then legalize it, and then buy properties and aircraft and yachts. This is how you, 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 you fight the world corruption. You just get rid of the possibilities for the money to be just easily moved around and never traced back, by the way. The outcome of the lushkov Baturin story, which is still ahead of us, which is at the very starting point, mm, this is where the media will play a big role. Mm, the bigger you steal, the more pro-democracy fighter you claim you are. I amounting to Mr. Lushkov running into a foreign country with his wife and saying, look, we always have been fighting against Putin and, and Medvedev because they've been taking away democracy from this country. And, and the question is, where does this 20 billion US dollar come from? And, eh, don't worry, it's just, uh, you know, it's just we earned it with hard labor. It